Welcome back, YouTubers. I'm your host, Siren Frost. Thank you for coming back for coming to the show. And as promised, I'm giving you guys the final deck profile of Team Demise featuring the Gurgit Gold Paladin build. Um, this is the tribute also to Tawa Eskawa. Tawa Eskawa. So it's nice to get some support for Gold Paladins finally. And I've been wanting to play Gurgit <clears throat> for a little while. Though, I was going to think about playing and combining it with Perci Percival. So now, because of the little ban list, you can't put Percival in Gurgit, which makes no sense. So, <clears throat> I might just have to do a separate video for that, at least. And just see what happens from there. But, right now, we're focusing on Gurgit today. Which I'm pretty happy for and pretty excited about to play. And again, this is the final member of Team Demise from the United Sanctuaries um, part. Anyways, I'm just going to shut the hell up and just go right into it. <clears throat> so for starters, I'm playing Knight of Early Dawn Cole. And if, as always, he has a standard rise uh, ability to get a quick shield ticket if your opponent has a grade one, or grade, van grade 1 Vanguard. And as the last two deck profiles you guys seen... This is also a 12 crit deck. Well, this is 8 crits, 4 heals, and 4 fronts. Because to me, XL decks need the front trigger sometimes. So this is my own personal build. You guys can say whatever you want to say about it. That's completely up to you. But for me, this is how I play. So I'm playing 4 copies of Front front Rank Sage Pyrone. Or Pyrone. Some kind of, it sounds French to me, but I may sound kind of butchering. I do love the artwork, and I think this is a good choice. Um, I could have gone with Elixir Sommelier, but it's like, I'm just not that big of a fan of him. I don't know. I just like the newer artwork and the new heel triggers. So I guess that's just me. Next, um, I'm playing the four crit Sentinels uh, Scarface line because he did go with Gurgit. So I guess it'd be more fitting for him. Um, like I said, a lot of the meta players can argue about this is not the right correct build, how you build up the deck properly, and all this shit. So, who are you to say what's the, what's good and not what's good? As long as it works for the opponent, or works for the player, who are you to say? Anyways, I'm getting off the topic here, guys. I'm sorry. So next, for the last crit trigger, we're playing four copies of Blue... or Knight of Blue Skies, Shinnok. It's like Shinnok from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> there we go. Um, just because it's, it fits perfectly, and I guess I should have added Flame of Victory, but unfortunately, I can't find my Flame of Victories right now at the moment. I'm hoping I didn't get rid of them. So we'll just see in a second. And then finally, we're playing four copies of Knight of Forceful Fight, Nalnius. Just complete the front trigger. Um, if you guys agree, think that uh, eight fronts and four criticals and four heals may be a better option, just let me know in the comments down below. And... You know, give me a good understanding about this deck itself, of your own builds, or anything of the sort. But, for right now, you guys, this is my build in in honor of Tawa Eskawa. Now, for grade ones, we're playing four copies of Sunshine Knight Jeffrey. Ugh. Ow! And I didn't realize this until I read it as a, a top effect. It has the same build as Clarisaur Dragon's Blue Espada Dragon. When placed, look at the seven top seven cards from the top of your deck and search for one uh, Gurgit or Perrymoor and add them to your hand. And then shuffle your deck. <clears throat> but I think um, what's the difference between him and a Spada Dragon is that Blue as Spada Dragon all, only does three. So if you just so happen to get... Um, Perrymore or Gurkert in one of those, or Clara Sword and um, Morian Spear, then that's why. But this is like seven cards, so. <clears throat> okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. And its other skill is, I gotta read this carefully. When placed by a card's ability, this unit gets 5k power and 5k shield to the end of turn. Oh, hi Magoon, what are you doing? Sorry, guys. My dog decided to step by and say hello. Oh. He's a good girl. 
Here, go now. Go, 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 go. Anyways, guys, sorry about that. Um, next, for my four copies of Grade 1, or four copies of Donnie Knight Gorbaduk, another Grade 3 Searcher, and any time a unit is called by a card by a card's ability, he gets plus 5,000 power. No, if two or more of your regards were called this turn. So I'm sorry about that. My apologies. Next, for Grade uh for the final grade ones, we're playing four copies of Relentless Knight Lulach. There's Lulach right here. And I'm going to just read him just quick, quickly right here. Vanguard. When placed, discard a card from your hand and draw a card. Okay, fitting. When your grade 3 Vanguard is placed during the main phase, put this into your into your soul and counter charge one card. So, what I didn't realize when I first made this deck is that how many counter much Counter blasting is due, or is doing. So I figured with a little counter charge, it sounds like a pretty good thing, you know, to go with. So yeah, that is uh, my grade ones. I know this may or may not make sense to some of you, but to me, it makes a lot of sense. All right, so for grade two. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. So for grades who were playing the main guy, Knight of Springs Light, Perrymore. Perrymore's skill, one turn, Calabas one, and call a grade two or less card from your hand to the Guardian's Circle, or to the rear guard, and draw a card. Auto skill, rear guard or Guardian's Circle. When placed by a card's ability this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 or 5k shield until the end of turn. So... Adds a little bit more of a more of a power boost to the units, and then we're playing four copies of Oath Liberator uh, Algravel or Acravel. So I, I might just butcher that one completely as well, but like I said, guys, I'm trying here. Anyways, this is my first time reading him or my first time using him, so let's just see what he says. Vanguard Circle. When placed, Cow Blast 1. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Call up to one card from among them to Ray Guard. And put the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order you wish. Rear Guard. If it attacks, put another Rear Guard into your soul. And this unit gets plus 10,000 power in the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, return this card to your hand. So, it doesn't get retired or stay in the field for too long. It just goes back into your hand. So. Sound like a typical Legion, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, maybe I should probably just do this. Okay. And then finally, I chose to do this for my own accord because I don't have many other uh, good grade twos to go with this deck the best I can. So I figure this one's the best one. Knight of Hard Work, Eleanor. I chose her specifically for this. And her ability is, when attacks perform... All of the following effects, the number of rear guards were called this turn. So if it's one or more, this unit gets plus 5,000 power into that battle. Four or more, then you may have it get 10,000 power. If you do, at the end of the battle, put this in your soul. So the more cards you have in the soul, the more, you know, I guess it builds up for something more magical happens. It almost comes like um, Aggravain, if you ask me. So I may be thinking about doing a profile update of Aggravain, but we'll just see how that kind of works out. But for right now, this is about Gurgit, and this is just about my own version of the build. And so far, I do like how it's been playtesting. Now I cannot wait to show it and display it on Saturday. So, now for my final grade 3s, or for my grade 3s, finally we're almost done here. I'm playing the main boss unit, Sunrise Ray Knight Gurgit. My first time playing Gurgit. Um, and I'm going to take one of these cards because I do have a hard time remembering all the words. So, continuous effect. During your turn, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit and all of your units placed by the card's ability this turn gets 5k power for each of your additional rear guards. So, since so you only have two, you only get 10,000 power. So. 
Okay, and one turn auto ability. Vanguard. When it attacks or is attacked, counterblast one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Call up the two cards from among them to rearguard. Then shuffle your deck. If it is your opponent's turn, call them to your guardian circle instead of rearguard. Again, that also helps parry Mord's ability too, which also provides 5,000 to the shield. So, the combination of either Jeffrey or... No. Jeffrey, Perry Moore, and Gurgit, those why are just, those three are the best ones so far in this set. God, I need to start thinking this more carefully. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on, we're playing four, two copies of Ray and Ray or Knight of Unison Yuzil. I chose this card specifically for um for the extra knight theme. I could have gone with the dragon from the newer set or aggravating, but I chose this one specially because it gives plus 5,000 power for every rear guard that you have. So that adds even more boost and more fuel to the fire. So, you know, it's all about the power boosting and about the amount of power you can stri strive for. Now, for the last uh, grade four, or, God, I, I sound so ridiculous on this video right now. Um, no, grade three. My last four copies are Battlefield Storm Sagramore. Um, Sagramore has been a good stable for any gold paladin deck so far. So I figure he can work well with Gurgit as well. So when he's placed from hand, so last one, draw a card and superior call a unit from your hand from your hand to rear guard. So yeah, pretty simple, right? So yeah, that's why I chose this specifically. And then, so that's the deck for the main, right here. And then for, we have a quick shield as well, always. And I'm also playing 6 XL2 markers. I know a lot of people are going to argue, well, why why 6? You only need two, at least 2 or 3. Well, just extra precaution because this deck tends to disappear call it crazy. Like, sometimes. So I figure, you know what, why not? And I know that people are going to argue. So here's my, my key thing I'm so not so bad on is that I know people for a fact especially for our meta players are going to argue about the fact that this deck that needs com actual complete guards like Mark but in order for tributing certain units that are based on the anime itself or the owners of them I want this deck to be not only fun for me but also you know just someone can understand that you can reach your potential in any way shape or possible so anyways guys, that is the concluding deck profile debuted on my Gold Paladin featuring the Gurgit series. So I'm glad you guys, I hope you guys watch this, like to watch this video. I'm glad you guys took time to watch it and hear my two cents on it just for a little bit. And as always, there will be a full deck list in the description box down below. So don't be afraid to look at that and put your own two cents on it. And as long as it's an actual opinion, I say go for it. Just... Give me some little tips and pointers on what you think a unit is best for this deck. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure be sure to subscribe, like this video, thumbs up for a comment down below, all that hot jazz. And yeah, this is the final member of Team Demise, formerly Team Demise. So I cannot say anything more bad about it. So again, guys, thank you for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.